Today, I'm going to be making a video of how to use the Blue Devil Head Gasket Sealer from AutoZone. Alright, this is the second time I picked this up. The first time we used it on an Infinity. Now we're gonna use it on this Toyota Tundra. I just made a video of how to remove the thermostat. Next, I'm gonna drain the system from all its cooling system. Just as the instructions say, remove thermostat, flush cooling system. I'm not gonna use the De uh, blue devil radiator flush, but I am gonna be using water. Then finish it off with water. So I'm gonna finish it off with water, shit. So let me go ahead and rinse this off. The way I have everything set up right now, I have the intake for the coolant to go into the engine with the water hose. I have the thermostat off. There it is. We're just going to flush everything out of the engine. And then we're going to hook it up into the radiator and flush everything out of the radiator from the return line. After we flush the engine and the radiator, uh, we're gonna have to replace this after we're done because I wasn't able to compress this so I had to break it Boom there Thermostat is off <laughs> They don't make them like they used to they used to just sell the housing and sell the thermostat now they sell the housing and the thermostat together So now We have a cool opening because you can't run this without that being in there because the thermostats in there and it tells you right here in bright red remove thermostat so you got to do what you got to do this thermostat re thermostat replacement i think it's only like 20 30 bucks so it's up to you if you want to pay the thousand dollar fix to fix the head gasket or twenty dollars to replace the thermostat this one was like 80 90 bucks i think ish but it's uh guaranteed so let's go ahead and flush out the engine turn on our water not a lot just enough and over here it's already dropping it from the radiator I'm sorry from where the thermostat housing goes so you can see all that pink stuff we're gonna wait till it's clear all right so there it goes looks pretty clear to me so now we're gonna go ahead and stick it on top of the radiator all right, now I'm gonna stick it into the radiator. Just right there. And I'm gonna let everything drain out. I have the cap closed, but not locked. And just waiting for everything to flush out. See it all coming out right there. There it is. So we'll go ahead and flush this out. And we'll be ready to start after I put in the thermostat housing back together. All right, after you have everything assembled back together, everything's assembled, everything's connected. We're gonna grab all our tools from the engine bay. Make sure you don't leave nothing up there. Now, it says to add water, but there should be enough water in the radiator and there should be enough water inside the engine. And now, what we're gonna do is pour slowly with the engine idling. It should take about one minute to pour the entire contents of this. Uh, after pouring slowly, see, look, it tells you like three, four times. Uh, let vehicle idle with the cap on for 50 minutes. Uh, and it should say to have the heater to max. There it is. So let's go ahead and do that. Start the engine. Remove the radiator cap. And we'll pour that in nice and slowly. All right, once you have the engine running, let's go ahead and pour that in there. Water pump is dried. It's okay. 
Okay, we'll add a little of this in here. And we'll add some more water to top it off. The reason I'm doing this is because last time I did this on the Infinity, I had to drop some water from the radiator. So now let me go ahead and throw some water in here. Oh, it's hurting my poor ears. So sorry, truck. I am so sorry. We'll just fill this up. All right, there it is. Nice and full. There's some air bubbles in there. You can hear it. All right, then we'll just cap this off. Come in here. We gotta turn on the heater first. Full blast. There it is. Forgot because I had to jump start it. Check it out. Perfect. All right, now we'll just let it sit and run for 50 minutes. And then we'll let the engine cool down. Install the new thermostat and drain enough fluid to refill it with antifreeze. Sweet. Hopefully that works. So we'll just go ahead and let it run for about 50 minutes. All right, so it's been about an hour already. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Let it cool down. Then we'll remove the radiator, uh, the thermostat housing, and replace it with a new one. Uh, then we'll fill it back up with radiator fluid, uh, coolant. It says on the bottle to just drop enough, change out the thermostat, and just fill it back up with coolant. So that way some of the blue devil still stays in there and it continues to work. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna let it sit change out the thermostat fill it up with coolant and that's it and that is how you use that blue devil gasket sealer thank you for watching please like and subscribe all right i just wanted to show that i'm removing the old thermostat gaskets right there here's the new one with a brand new gasket hello and it's just gonna go right back in here sweet got some antifreeze and I fill it back up and we should be done should be the end of that little devil and I'm gonna pour the antifreeze in Just all the way till it fills up all right so there it is nice and full and you're set that's it sweet thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell
All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.